Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see, this is not Realm and Mad God, this is uh, Minecraft Dungeons. I think this game actually has a lot of similarities to the content we already make on this channel, so I thought why not go ahead and make a video on this too, especially since I've been playing it a lot. I'm level 55. Uh, it's not the highest, I guess, but it's also, you know, pretty decent considering this game came out like, what, two days ago? I think? I don't know. I started playing it like literally a day... And maybe a half ago because i started playing it like at 8 p.m and 9 p.m anyway we are level 55 at the moment 69 power level uh running death cap mushroom for the attack speed and movement speed healing totem and defense amulet just because we need all those things to stay alive because we don't have leeching we are using radiant though again for the heals and critical hits just to kill them faster battle robe honestly just because i had no other good armor on me at the moment not the best, but it should be uh, strong enough to get us through our fights. And I'm not going to be using the bow much at all, maybe to clear out a creeper or two. Anyway, we will uh, go. We're going to do the uh, redstone mine again, because I actually didn't... I went through this um, on stream and I didn't do too well. I mean, I made it through and finished it, but it can do better. So yeah, I'll let you guys watch this. Rumors say the Illagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Something of soot, metal and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Okay. So we're in apocalypse mode because we've uh, approached them. Or oh, been the boss. Um, twice on story mode and then on adventure mode after that but yes let's go ahead and run through this honestly the first few uh, rooms here shouldn't be too much of a problem I thought he was going to blow up that's why I popped my defense amulet but he did not okay Oh, we got the crit off, nice. There is actually a lot of spawners in here. So we will clear those out. We're basically going to be doing mostly a full clear. We might miss a few chests and stuff, but... For the most part, it should be a full clear. Okay, I'm gonna go... Open that chest. Got another battle robe. Fortunately, it's not that good. The emeralds just let you, um get a random item from the blacksmith and wandering trader I want us to go that way we will do that just after making sure there's nothing over here that we have not missed I'm gonna throw the TNT away just because I don't actually want to use it I feel like every time I go to use TNT it uh, does more damage than good we can tank that because I popped the amulet for defense which I want to get a new one for uh, I guess more defense. Oops, I missed the creeper. He really didn't want to get hit there, I guess. He's gonna heal up here. Because there is another spawner to get through. We're predominantly going melee um, at the moment. I had a good bow, but then I actually got rid of it. Holy shit, I must died. I had a good bow, but I got rid of it recently uh, in favor of this one because it. No, sorry, in favor of another one which had similar stats to this one, but then this one was even better than that one, so I switched it again. But yeah, that's our current setup. We're in like a weird transitional period where we have um, not the best gear because we've gone from all uniques and good gear at the end of my old run to this run where I've started recently again and have to, you know, get all my stuff to a good level again. These guys hurt, so I gotta be careful. Alright, we beat them. Chilling, electric fight. Oh, it's just a slow. If it's just a slow, we'll fight them. Some of these enchanted enemies you do gotta be very careful with because they will absolutely ruin your day if you're not careful. 
It's more so just unexpected damage sometimes, I think, that will ruin your day. But yeah, we're looking for also any items, uh, if I can find, that have leeching on them for lifesteal on, upon defeating them. Instead of just radiant, which gives us a flat heal, we want that percent of mob's health at the end of their life. Another chest here with emeralds. No weapon though. Do you have any weapons on me that spares? Not really. Okay, let's go run on through. We're level 55, we should be able to get another level up after this mission. We have 260 arrows, we're gonna use some of these and miss. For the most part, I don't really run bow enchantments because I prefer to just run in and melee things. It's been working really well for me, so I figured to keep it going. Now we are not doing well there. Okay. I love that I love arrow shots have been getting denied by like random things as well. Things are dying way too quick, dude. Honestly, I think some of them killed themselves at this point. Because we did not go through that room well at all. <laughs> As a terrible room clearance. I guess we'll go through anyway. I don't think I missed anything, so we should be okay. Uh, yeah, let's continue on. I'm not going to be looking for like chests or anything. I just kind of want to get to the boss, defeat him, get some XP. That's what we're mostly after here. Some experience. Honestly, most of my... <laughs> most of my builds have been um, very dependent on me just getting into a group of people and doing... and just spam clicking my abilities while in that group of people. It started off with um, my first stream and what I was going to make stream highlight off using this gravity hammer but then I kind of just realized I wanted to make a standalone video instead of a uh, stream highlights video because the first stream was like two and a half hours long the next one was I don't know but I played for like eight maybe ten hours in between and the amount of difference in experience and just knowledge and gameplay was so different that I was like you know what I'll just make a standalone video and see how that goes instead. Is there another way to go this way? No. I'm also really good at finding dead ends, so that's why. You know, that's what I love to do. Our oh, unique explodes them on death, which is awesome. Very useful stuff, especially when I like to get in the middle of crowds. We also have a radius of burning around us. Okay, creeper, that's. Not gangster. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, there's more. I could battle him normally with the axe and like my artifacts at the bottom here. But I thought, you know, let's play it safe. What do they have on them, dude? Thorns. Okay, of course. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts really bad. My Radiant is not pop enough, so I'll just use my health pop. Radiant, I think is... Is it Radiance or Radiant? One of the two. It's the enchantment I have on my axe where there's a 20% chance to trigger. Hitting an enemy will put a golden circle around them and heal me. That's what I'm using as my current sustain. I also usually like to have like a grim armor or a spider armor for the lifesteal. That is certain death, isn't it? It is. Cool. Level up. The level up might have saved our life, I'm not too sure. 
Okay, we are level 60. No, 56, sorry. What the fuck just hit me? It might have been the crossbows. They do actually hurt. Yeah, being in this um, transitional period of gear where my gear is not that good is actually causing suboptimal play to be commonplace. There's also these guys here which just love to be annoying. Wait, this guy got fucked up by the minecart. The melee problem the melees are not really problematic at all. It's what I'm kinda of designed to just do, beat them up. It's just everything else that can be problematic. Okay, let's go free these guys so we can progress through. The boss here is actually kinda cool. Because it's just like a regular golem. He might be a bit tankier and stronger, but I'm pretty sure it's just a regular golem. And then at the uh, next dungeon, that boss is actually really cool. When I first fought him, I was like, ah, oh, new fairy boss. It still kind of is, I guess, and there's no reason he wouldn't be. Anyway, let's, um, I prefer this, sorry, I prefer the next dungeon's boss over the last boss you fight in the game in terms of ease of defeating. Yep, just gonna be tanking a lot of damage here. Wouldn't let me walk for a second, it's not my fault. Like I said, large areas like this, I excel in. I mean, small crowded areas like this, I excel in clearing them out. Another chest here. Ooh, what did we get? Oh, I thought I picked up something cool, but no. Just a lot of emeralds in a swiftness pot. Let us run back real quick and go the right way. Another swiftness spot, that's going to be helpful. More emeralds. Nice, we're making good progress again. Our power level is uh, like a lot lower than it probably should be. If you want to have an easy time with the bosses in the next room. But um, it shouldn't be too difficult as long as we clear out these guys who are slowing me down. I actually wouldn't mind that TNT right now. Yeah, they're gonna kill me. They are actually, I don't know what enchantments they have on them, but they are very strong, double damage, yeah. I do not have my uh, artifacts ready. Do I want this? I feel like I got shot through the wall. Okay, that's really bad because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to beat the boss now. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's really frustrating. Okay, just turn that to the boss. How hard can that be? If I want anything good, melee damage, extra health. What enchantments do you have? Not anything I want. Okay, we can we can kill the golem. We don't have to take damage. That's fine. We should be able to take a lot of this damage. And then we do have to actually avoid a lot of it as well. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get him this time. Because when you um, die, it saves your progress, I guess, against the boss. So we just do the same thing. Like I said, we are under-leveled or under-geared for this fight. Like, by 9 levels. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's fine, you know. Deaths don't really matter in this game. 
it can be a lot more risky in your plays. I do eventually want to not die, obviously, but they give you lives for a reason. Make the mess of them. I, like, if I fail, I, I wouldn't mind. You know, it's my fault for dying. But yeah, that's the end of this run. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to let the cutscene play. Or the text, because we get a chest here, and then I'll end the video after that, if it doesn't crash to the menu. Which it didn't. Nice. Very happy about that. Oh, we got all the chests. And we did like not that much damage. Oh, well, that's damage taken. Oh, sometimes it tells you how much damage you've done as a stat, which is one of my favorite ones to read. Try and get that million damage mark every round. Harvester. Okay, that's not terrible, but it's not that good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.